What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. Jump into this week's topics. First for this week, new tires from Vanquish Products, and these are a licensed Falcon Wild Peak. First licensed tire from Vanquish Products. These are a 4.65 inch tall tire. So a nice size, perfectly fit for VS410s as well as many custom builds out there. Got a great square profile to them and they come in the same red super soft compound that the VXT2s were released in. So a super competitive, very sticky tire. These are available and shipping now already. If you're interested in where you can find these, I'll add links to where you can shop for them in the description below. Check that out and I'll also add links to the rest of this week's stories. Traxxas has updated the TRX-6 Ultimate Hauler Edition to now include the Pro Scale winch for the bed. Now that Pro Scale winch was had a mount that came in the box previously, but now updating it and it's coming in there. It's also using a different part number, so assume that the old one is just going to get retired and all the new ones are going to come with the Pro Scale. It appears at this point at least. Now, the bed still doesn't move, it's still just fixed, but adding the winch on there for that little bit of extra functionality was a nice touch, nice piece to have included in there. You're starting to see these become available at all of the hobby shops, online dealers, things like that. So if you've been holding out, a little bit of extra value has now been added. CEN has more options becoming available for the F250 or F450, the dually wheels that we talked about last week just becoming available. Those have also expanded as far as options for those, as well as some bumpers, that drop hitch that we've seen. And it also appears that they're teasing some new larger diameter tires that are still made for that same size wheel. So if you wanted a little bit beefier looking tire, but you still wanted that blingy wheel, Looks like they're going to have an option for you released here before too long. F450 owners have a lot of options. F450 owners have a lot of options for parts available already, but expanding on that OEM style look is definitely cool. Hobby Tech has announced the release of the CRX2. This is coming with the Peugeot 504 truck body on it. We saw teases of that truck body probably a year or more ago. And maybe it came on the CRX as well, and now it's coming on the CRX2 also. But either way, uh, it looks like an updated platform, nothing wildly advanced, it kind of fits the mold of a lot of trucks that we're seeing right now. Uh, it's got some just basic features. It's got one of like the anti-torque twist style transmissions, which just means a counter rotating shaft. It has what they're calling an adjustable wheelbase, although it's kind of just adjustable shock mounts. The body itself is a style that you don't see very often. So if you're a Peugeot fan, this is, you know, a rarity to see one of your vehicles available. It does have a chassis mounted servo and overall it looks like it's just kind of meant to be more scale oriented rather than all that much performance. It's got a large overhang in the front, rear not so bad, the bumper's tucked in there pretty well also. It does have some additional fender flares that you can add if you want it to be you know more covered up or you can leave them off and trim it for something a little bit more aggressive. But if the hobby tech products are available wherever you may be, maybe this is something that you'd be interested in. It never got much distribution in the United States, but, but if they're a brand that you've just had good luck with in the past, or they're just easily available wherever you are, maybe this is a decent option that you should look into. I'll link to the hobby tech website where you can see the details on this new truck. Thanks to Crawler Innovations for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. Crawler Innovations, obviously known for their high performance foams made for all kinds of tires from tiny little 1.0 wheels to mountain bike tires and everything in between. But also they've got a number of other products. One of them that they just got back in stock is their cell block. It's kind of the multi-use one. It's got slots for shock building and foams. I actually use it quite often. The cell blocks from Crawl Innovations are pretty awesome in general as rig stands or these multi-function ones. Check those out the next time you put in an order over at Crawl Innovations. And don't forget, you can use code HARLEY10 to save yourself 10% on your next order over there. Thanks again to Crawl Innovations for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. Horizon Hobbies is already starting some of their deals for the holiday season, but they are expiring quickly. So you need to check the website and if you like what you're seeing, probably time to buy it at that point because the deal doesn't last that long. The base camp was on sale last week, the capper was on sale this week, and we're starting to see more and more of them. The 
Arma one fifth scale outcast, the much, you know, the large one fifth scale stunt truck with the eight S system was on sale for like 40% off as well. So there's some deals to be had on the horizon products. Now, again, they're expiring regularly. The current offers expired when I'm filming this. So by the time this video actually goes out, they'll be expired, but there should be new ones up basically right after that. So you shouldn't have to wait long, whatever they have, check out through the week. I'll add a link to the current page to check for so you can see what deals are available. We'll both be surprised tomorrow when we see what they are. Last week, J Concepts released two more monster truck bodies. These are pre-finished monster truck bodies. The first one was the 2010 Ford Raptor Bigfoot, the you know standard blue with the multicolor stripe. And then they also released a 2005 F-250 with the Bigfoot Nation. And this is a dark, you know, blackout theme style. Again, these are pre-finished bodies. If you're into the monster truck racing, you want an easy solution and you like Bigfoot, click the link in the description below. Send Cut Send has expanded their offerings to customers everywhere, including chipboard, carbon fiber, all different kinds of aluminum, and now also some G30 steel options. They're now also offering powder coating, anodizing, countersinking, tons of different options, CNC bending also. So no matter if you're looking for just a raw product that you can finish on your own, or if you want a very finished product to arrive at your doorstep. And I do have a new discount code on there so you can get 15% off of any order you do. You can use it over and over, but I'll put that below here on the screen so that you can see it. It won't be in the YouTube description because the codes are getting pulled and put on like coupon sites and things like that. But use that code, save yourself some money. Protec just released a backpack specifically made for carrying trail trucks and trucks like it, made to be able to fit tall, oversized wheel vehicles completely into the backpack. Great for traveling, I would say. I oftentimes travel with my vehicles and I'm usually having to stuff them into a carry-on in some sort of awkward way. Or if you just want a nice contained way to be able to transport them with you easily. Very clean and simple overall. The price isn't bad either. Definitely a solution worth looking into if you're looking for a bag to carry your truck inside of. RC Four Wheel Drive and CC Hand have released a bunch of new option parts for the VS410 Phoenix. Everything from a completely metal flatbed that changes how the body hinges to detail pieces, Toyota grills, it says Toyota, roof racks, wiper boxes, tons of different really nice looking details Worth checking out if you're going the ultra scale route with your VS410 Phoenix. RC Field Drive has added all of these parts to their website already, so outfit away. Last week, Proline teased a new body for the Axial SCX6 because all of the details are in the hashtags. But SCX6 square body blazer is coming to the SCX6. Going to, I have to imagine, be a very large body, but it's cool to see these full-size body options from Proline becoming available. I don't think that we've seen bodies this large ever produced by Proline. Looking forward to seeing all the details and exactly how they tackle one of these bodies. Hopefully we see that come around this week. And yesterday Proline teased another new tire. This is another Mickey Thompson. It looks like the Baja Pro X, but can't really see what size it's going to be. They didn't put that in the hashtags this time. 1.9, probably, they already have the 2.2 and I doubt it's a 1.0 by the fine details that you can see on this. One photo is all we've seen at this point, but as always, I'm sure that the full details are just around the corner. This weekend is the WRCCA Nationals being held at Cougar Buttes down in Southern California. This is comp crawler style crawling, so not scale focused, just all out performance. I'll be down there this weekend competing in the 2.2S or Sportsman Shafty class, as well as the 2.2 Pro, which is the MOA crawler style. Hopefully see some of you there. And if you're interested in going, I believe you could still get tickets. I'll put a link to where you can find all of the information, including location and tickets, all that kind of thing in the description below. If you can make it, maybe you're close to Southern California, definitely something to think about. Wednesday, live stream takeover, same time, same place, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Come join Matt and I as we dive into all of the things that we have are way behind on. <laughs> Come say hello during the live.
But that's gonna do it for this week's news topics for this week's question segment. Last week we talked about where you went for your RC information. Most everything was just right down the standard vein, either phone a friend, uh, or go to Facebook groups. Some people had some reliable hobby shops that they could go to, but it definitely seemed like that was a less common answer than it used to be. For this week's question though, I wanna know when was the last time you did something different in RC? I do a lot of trail truck. I do a lot of the same things that I know, things that I do. I don't venture hugely outside of what I like to do normally all that often. So when was the last time you did something different? Whatever that means to you, whether it just means a different type of truck build, crawling, you tried a new technique, you learned 3D printing, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. As always, appreciate reading your comments every week. Hit the like button if you enjoy this Kill News update. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.